Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. Last episode, we looked at this. This was a UK HMV exclusive version of Revenge of the Sith on DVD from 2005, where it had, over a pretty standard looking regular version, a special slipcover. And I pointed out that not only had this entered my collection through Matt Fry, this is actually something that was not unique necessarily to the UK, because Australia had its own version of it and had been doing that for all the prequels, whereas in the UK it appears to have only happened for Revenge of the Sith. So we're going to look at those Australian versions this time because those have also entered my collection thanks to the generosity of Matt Fry. And we will start with Revenge of the Sith. Notice this is a slipcover that goes down from the top and has all the regular back information on the actual slipcover. In Australia, it looked very similar here. Similar imagery here in the title. DVD with the Australian rating, of course, here as a sticker. Information up here again about what's actually on it, just like the sticker we saw in the UK. So if notice this one's going to slip out the side. It does have a blank top and blank bottom, so that's not a big deal. The spine here, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, 3, THX, Lucasfilm, product number, DVD. Then the smaller version of the Australian rating here. But then the back, it's not the information from the back of the standard case. It says, the saga is complete has Vader slash Anakin there with the Sith eyes going, and over here, limited edition with the three symbol. Nice! We pull this out, and they are a little bit tight. You find that actually, and he included this in here, when it's on store shelves, it would have a back that looked a lot like the back of the case there with the information about the disc and the special features and cast crew information, the legalese, the rating, as you would expect. The actual product inside looked similar here, but because the Australian rating is near the bottom, the THX stuff was moved to the top, but there was no need for a widescreen denotation because it, all widescreen, I believe. So THX stuff up here, title, DVD, rating. Clear case, similar spine, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, 3 THX, Lucasfilm, product number, DVD, rating. And the back there, very much like that bit I showed you that was just a piece of paper stuck to it when it was still in shrink wrap. Disc 1 information, special features information, information about the film, imagery there, cast crew information, various symbols like THX and whatnot. This is Region 4, PAL. UPC symbol, legalese at the bottom, and the remainder of that rating there. As for what is inside, we have a similar insert to what we've seen elsewhere, right? Saga is complete and all. English chapter listings, information about what's actually in the special features, the disc, legalese around the edges, disc one, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, Lucasfilm, rating, DVD-9, dual layer, single-sided disc, uh, layer transition may trigger a slight pause, product number or something, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Region 4, PAL, DVD, and copyright symbol there. And then disc two, a similar design. Okay. And then the interior of this clear case, I'll be with kind of a frosted tray that blocks one side or the other. We have that iconic imagery there, kind of like in the UK one, with some legalese at the bottom. And then I like the fact that on this side, it's got caution, improper use may permanently damage your discs. So don't use them for like Frisbee and stuff, right? Um, and then up here, it tells you this is how you take a DVD out of its case properly. Morons. We're talking to you. This is how you do it, etc., etc. As if I do it properly all the time myself, so I'm sort of calling myself a moron there. Depends on how easily the package can actually be open, right? But basically a standard release inside an exclusive side-loading nice slipcover. One thing that is different with this is that... If you look at Revenge of the Sith kind of across the board, there was a, an Xbox demo for Battlefront 2 in most regions. Unlike in 2006, where the demo for LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, was sometimes on Xbox, like over here, and sometimes a PC demo in other regions where Xbox wasn't dominating. Uh, for Revenge of the Sith, it tended to be Xbox across the board. Except in Australia, no demo at all for Battlefront 2 on the Australian copy. My understanding, by the way, is that this is exclusive to a place called Easy Easy Y. DVD. 
back in the day. Uh, thanks, I believe, to Adam Parrish pinning that down for me. Then continuing to go backwards, we have episode two. Very, very nice, right? So imagery kind of actually like the uh, long box anti-theft stuff we've seen. So we have Anakin, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and the Battle of Geonosis going on in the background. Rating down here, not as a sticker, but built into the case. Recommended for mature audiences, 15 and older, blah, blah, blah. The title there, okay? Nothing on top or bottom, it's another side loader. 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars title, episode two, limited edition. DVD, product number, THX, Lucasfilm, and the rating. The back, the saga continues, and two with the limited edition symbol. Inside, we have the actual regular release, basically, I would assume. Again, rating is at the bottom, although this time not as a sticker. It's actually sort of built in nice into the packaging here, but not as easy to see. So maybe that's why they would have changed it. Uh, no need to call it widescreen. So the THX stuff is at the top, not at the bottom, still in gold. Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones, uh, DVD symbol there. Two disc set, six hours of bonus material, includes exclusive deleted scenes, an all-new documentary film from Puppets to Pixels featuring Digital Yoda, George Lucas commentary, and much more. Spine, similar. 20 Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, two DVD product number THX Lucasfilm rating. And the back there, info about the first disc, special features on the second disc, info about the film, cast crew information there, uh, 20 Century Fox Home Entertainment logo and various other logos and legalese and whatnot down here, along with the rating in the corner. Clear case again, so artwork will be underneath it. We have ourselves one insert, which is Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, chapter listing, info about the bonus features, like we would see in the U.S. and elsewhere. Similar disc design as far as the label goes with Django, of course, with the clones behind him, Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, disc one, DVD nine, dual layer, single-sided disc. Layer transition may trigger a slight pause. Product number type thing there. Rating, legalese. Disc two, similar to the US style. Again, similar setup to what we just saw on disc one. Inside, we actually saw this kind of in Japan, a similar design here to the interior imagery there. So another cool version you would see coming out of Australia. Uh, again, the, usually when it comes to the content on these, oftentimes the only big difference is like the language options and whatnot. For instance, um, Attack of the Clones is going to have English Dolby Digital 5.1, Dolby Digital, or see, Dolby uh, 2.0 Surround, Audio Commentary 2.0 Surround with subtitles in English, English SDA, Danish, Finnish, Norwegian, and Swedish, right? So not necessarily the same as far as that goes for the U.S., but otherwise very, very similar here. And this is, again, Region 4 PAL. And then again, as we go backwards, The Phantom Menace. Cool imagery there. I believe that looks like what the insert looks like in some regions there. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, The Saga Begins. Kind of the Episode One thing again. Padme, Anakin, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan. Rating built in down there at the bottom. Spine, different color this time. 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars The Phantom Menace, one limited edition DVD, product number THX, um, Lucasfilm. Rating again, nice clean back with the UPC there. Every saga has a beginning, one limited edition. Pretty sweet there. Inside, more regular retail looking one. In this case, every saga has a beginning is not on there. Remember in the US, it was THX at the bottom, every saga has the beginning at the top, both in gold in 2001. There wasn't a full screen version of it yet, which meant that when we looked, for instance, in Japan, it still kept the gold on top and bottom, whereas most kept the gold just for THX at the bottom, or silver as the case may be, because they didn't need to denote widescreen. Here, the tagline is gone and THX is up at the top, so the rating can be down at the bottom. Title there, DVD, of course. Uh, two discs set, six hours of bonus material, includes exclusive deleted scenes, all new documentary film, the beginning, George Lucas commentary, and much more. Okay. Spine, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, one DVD, product number THX, Lucasfilm rating. Similar back design to the US as we would expect, of course. Um, this is again, region four, POW. There's your rating and stuff down there again. Clear case, so we will see some art on the inside, but it's going to remind us very much of the Japanese one. Okay, so interior, very much like the Japanese 
copy that we saw before. Insert, there's that art again, very similar to the US insert there. And then discs, disc one, Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, the DVD nine thing again, the product number thing with the rating and a little bit of legalese on the edge. And in a similar vein and style of design, the bonus disc. So a very nice matching set, not necessarily in terms of all of the design, but a very nice matching set as far as at least the idea of the limited edition with the number and stuff on it and exclusive easy DVD slip covers for all three of the prequels coming out of Australia. We had some exclusives over here too, but it tended not to be packaging. It tended to be things like here's some coins to go with it or here's a lithograph to go with it rather than the actual home video items themselves having some kind of cool tweaks to them. So really nice to see those out of Australia and to see how that connects to the one we saw from the UK last time. Next time, we'll take a look at another version of Revenge of the Sith from another region, this time from Thailand. Also courtesy of Matt Fry to see how that one ties into our patterns that we've seen so far for that DVD release. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers.